today is going to be an outstanding day. Oh, hit a bump. I'm going to Starbucks, I'm treating myself. I'm having coffee that I didn't have to make, and I'm going to use their internet to uh, to upload some uh, videos and take care of some other things that need to be taken care of while I'm out here at Mitry Lake. That is the place I'm at, M-I-T-T-R-Y, Mitry Lake. Um, it's outside of Yuma, uh, north uh, west of Yuma, and uh, it's a great place to camp with uh, really bad cell phone service. <clears throat> I'm telling you this now because by the time this video comes out, I will already be on my way back to the RTR. So, let me get a little situated, and I will get back with you, and I will talk about my RTR plans and a few other things. See you guys in a minute. An interesting thing about uh, down here in Yuma, I don't know if it's just a weather change in general or because I'm 80 miles south, but it's a lot warmer during the day and a lot warmer at night. I haven't had to uh, turn on my uh, buddy heater since I got here. So that makes me happy. But it is a warm day. It's overcast still warm I made it to Starbucks coffee all right well I am well caffeinated had some Starbucks feeling pretty good about that now I'm hungry for lunch you know I haven't had sushi since October there's been no places for me to get sushi but there is some good places here in Yuma or so I understand so I'm gonna go have some and you may not like sushi that's totally cool if you don't but I do and I'm gonna go eat some raw fish. So, but before I do that, I wanna talk about something that you guys have asked me about, uh, several of you in the comments, which is uh, donating to me. And uh, uh, either one time or monthly carrying on uh, to help me out. And so, why don't we, uh, why don't we talk about that for a minute? While I certainly appreciate the thought of you guys wanting to donate to me, I know that a lot of YouTubers, you know, have a donate button and uh, and they have um, the Patreon or what have you. Um, I don't have that, and I really don't think that I want that. Um, it's okay that other YouTubers have it, but for me, um, I. I I appreciate the thought, but I don't think that I, I want to take donations. Um, I make a little money off of you guys watching, um, and and that's enough for me uh, at the moment. I don't have a YouTube channel to survive and live. Um, I do have a modest retirement income that keeps me um, where I need to be, so I'm not... Uh, uh, I, I'm not looking for donations, really. Um, I appreciate the effort. Now, uh, if you want to support me, uh, go buy my book. Uh, go buy any of my books that I have and leave an honest review. Um, selling 10 books and getting 10 honest reviews um, would do more for me as far as I'm concerned than, than getting 10 donations. Uh, through PayPal or Patreon or, or anything else. So if you want to support me, go go buy a book. And that way, you're getting something for your efforts. And then leave me a review. But leave me an honest review. If I wrote a bad book, tell me about it. That helps me become a better writer. Um, also, if you would like to donate somewhere because of me, because of, because of what you've seen, I will give you two different options for things that you can donate to. First and foremost, uh, if you would like, uh, you can go to nubability.org and donate there. That is an organization um, that I coach at most every year. We teach slim different kids how to play sports and be competitive against um, fully able-bodied opponents. And I teach bullyproof and grappling. So if you would like to make a donation, go to nubability.org. And when you do the, don do the donation, if there's a place to put a note, you know, at the bottom, just say, uh, uh, Coach Neal sent me. 
um, that would be great. Uh, something else that is near and dear to my heart is the Veterans of Foreign Wars, the VFW. If you would like to uh, make a donation to the VFW, please do. Um, it's a great organization. It's an organization I grew up around. around. Uh, my father is a, uh, is a Vietnam vet. Uh, my, gr my grandparents were vets. I've got uncles that are vets. My brother is a vet. Um, the VFW does great things. So if you feel like you want to do something for me, uh, donation-wise, go donate to the VFW. Go donate to Nubability. That's good enough for me. I, you know, I'm not going to rule out entirely that I will never ever have um, have something where you guys can send things to me, but I just don't see me doing that. I don't see a reason for that. Um, I'm not doing this for the profit. I'm doing this because I want to share my life. You know, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm not a nomad. I'm a guy with no legs that does a lot of crazy things, and I want to share that. So, I appreciate the offer of wanting to donate to me, but if you guys really want to donate, go to the, any of those things that I just mentioned, um, and uh, you can donate there in my name if, if you would like to do that. And I will put links down below in the description um, for Nubability, and if I can find a VFW donation link, then I'll, I'll do one there too. Or go to your local VFW and donate, or volunteer there. They always need help. So, anyway, there's that. Now, I need to turn off my, turn off my camera on my phone so I can uh, load up the uh, sushi place in my maps, and I can go eat sushi, and I'll get back with you in a little bit. I am at uh, just leaving a place called oh, Ninja Sushi, and it was good stuff. So no audio for uh, any of the video I took in there because they had music playing, and I don't want to copyright thing on YouTube. So anyway, buy one get one free from uh, opening to uh, 5:30 p.m. So they got me with the BOGO, and uh, I tried to, I ordered two rolls, buy one, get one free, and then I, uh, I get that all the time, uh, and then I, uh, uh, then I completely lost my train of thought. So I had my first two rolls, and then I thought, well, I could still eat some more, and it's buy one, get one free, so I ordered two more, two more, couldn't eat them all. So I have some to go, and I'll have them later on. Oh, so it's good to get out and just do regular things instead of camping things. I just got a message back from a jiu-jitsu place here in Yuma, and uh, I'm more than welcome to come train with them, so I'll get to do some training this week. Now, on to the other thing that I'm sure you guys want to know about is my plans for RTR. Yes, I'm still going to RTR. As of today, when I'm making this video, it's the third? It's Wednesday, so yeah, I think it's the third. RTR is for 12 days, I think, and it starts on the 11th of January, so it starts a week from now. I am going to be going to the RTR and I plan on getting there a couple of days early and after I get there I'm only going to stay for five of the RTR days one two three four five because I can't count past no that's not the real reason why but uh, so I'm only going to stay until about the 16th and then I'm taking off the 16th to go home I've got lots of things I need to catch on 
uh, catch up on at home. And um, and I've been out here since uh, October. Uh, this will be three months that I've been gone total by the time I get home. And, uh, and I got to go. I, I honestly don't think right now I could handle what the craziness that the RTR is going to be. If I thought that the van build was crazy with 100 people there's uh, uh, or 100 rigs, there's going to be 1,000, 2,000 people at the RTR. So I'm going to go home early. Um, it's just what I need to do for myself and for what I have to do back home. I have no big emergencies, although everybody at home right now, um, from my son to my folks, uh, is sick with the flu. Um, so if you guys are watching this, I hope by the time you see it that you're better. Um, but uh, I need to go home. Um, I love being out here, but uh, I've got other things I love to do also. And it's time to move on to those. It's that part of the year where I start really getting into jujitsu. Um, and training and uh, and doing some competitions and traveling to train so I gotta go home so I'm leaving on the 16th from the RTR so a bunch of you have said hey I want to meet you at RTR I'm only going to be there until the 16th so if you get there after then uh, then I'm I'm sorry not going to be there again you guys are more than welcome to come up on my camp um, I don't really have any rules set about uh, when you can meet me or when you can't. Um, the only thing that I request is that if you're walking up on my camp and you want to come meet me, if I have not seen you and we have not made eye contact, then you make sure that you announce yourself before you uh, come walking up around my camp. Anything under my awning is considered part of my rig, so don't just come walk up under my awning. Um, or inside my private area without uh, without announcing yourself first. Just say, hey, you know, are you home? Just do that, and, and we'll be good. And, you know, I, I, there's no meet and greet for me. Um, there's no no anything like that. Hang on, backing out. Want to make sure I don't hit anybody. So anyway, so that's the only thing I ask is that if we, if you haven't made eye contact with me, I don't see you coming. Then please. Announce yourself, get my attention, so I know you're there. Because I don't like to be spooked. Just, I just don't like that. So that's about it for me and for this video today. I said this is the third, and I'm probably going to put this video out on the tenth. Uh, I hope on the tenth, which will be before RTR, so you guys know what the deal is, and you get to know where the lake that I was camping at, which again was Mitchry Lake pretty cool place anyway now I'm just rambling because I'm trying to drive I'm gonna close this video out and uh, I will uh, see you guys on the next video or an RTR thanks for watching bye You guys still here? Why? The video's over. Go watch another video. Read a book. Or maybe just subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.